My name is Manisa Felsen, and today uh, we're going to talk with one of our graduates from our boot camp. Her name is um, Elsa Vera Amoris. Hi, Elsa. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Hi, Manisa. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm very happy, and I'd like to start uh, our conversation today so you could tell a little bit about yourself to our uh, students. Sure. I am originally from Madrid, Spain, and I have a PhD in molecular biology, biochemistry and biomedicine. When I finished my PhD, I came to US to do my postdoc and I worked at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center Hospital for mm -hmm. seven years. Mm -hmm. The last project that I developed at Sloan Kettering, it required me to learn R. So I, I took some online courses to learn R and I, I thoroughly de developed a data pipeline to analyze my data. And uh, then after that, when I made the decision to join the bootcamp, I started to do the pre-work. I dedicated many hours a day since, since I decided joining the bootcamp to do my pre-work. And that was really helpful to build a foundation before getting started with the bootcamp. Okay, and um, what were other challenges that you had to face? Uh, during your way to become a data scientist? I would say the main challenge is to decide quitting my job without having another job lined up and dealing with that uncertainty of how long is it going to take to find a job? Am I going to like the new career? Am I going to be good at it? That was the main challenge for me. But in the moment that I made the decision to join the bootcamp and I had a deadline, uh, last day of work, that for me was the biggest challenge. Would you mind sharing with us what do you do now as a data scientist? I am part of a data science team um, which within uh, HR at JP Morgan. And the main objective of my group is to optimize the hiring process and also there are other people in my group, they also work with text data analytics, analyzing the text of the surveys. So yeah. would you say that's your typical work day? My typical work day, I'm about to finish my third month in my current position. Uh, it has a lot of coding. I, I do a lot of coding, a lot of machine learning and meetings. Meetings one-on-one -on -one or meetings with the team. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your favorite part of the day? I really enjoy doing machine learning and doing machine learning in an environment in which we are actually deploying a model every day mm -hmm. and my work has an immediate impact on the how the, this model uh, function and works. Mm -hmm. Is machine learning something they were already exploring while you were in the boot camp? Yeah, I got all my machine learning foundation from the bootcamp. I knew nothing about machine learning before. I, I only used a few models uh, to for my work as a scientist. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about your experience as a student at the academy? Yeah, so the 12 weeks of the bootcamp were probably the most productive of my life. And the classes, the, the deadlines, the high demand, they made us feel that the bar was so high and it actually was but we were able to get there and that accelerates our accelerate our learning process another thing that i really think that it works um, is the immersion the the immersion in 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 the boot camp and in the coding and machine learning, it works as any other language. If you live in a country and you're exposed to the, to, to the culture and, and the language all the time, that really accelerates your learning rate. Um, also, I consider that the material, the curriculum of NYC Data Science Academy, really gives you all the tools you need to develop your data scientist job successfully and I also want to mention that the machine learning classes are exceptional they are uh, college uh, level and quality 
How was your job search process? My job search process uh, took about a month and I remember it as a very labor intensive time. During that time, I I practiced the skills that I acquired in the academy. I also I I applied to jobs daily. I prepared for on-site interviews. I also uh, check in regularly with the hiring team at NYC Data Science Academy. They gave me a lot of tips, advice, and many referrals to different companies through their through their contacts. And what I, I, I actually I only did uh, two on-site interviews. Both of them were for JB Morgan for two different teams. And I was accepted in both. Uh, one a uh, couple of days after and the other one a few weeks after. We always say that we have a very extensive um, curriculum, a very rigorous curriculum, but I was curious if we could highlight um, like a, a part of the curriculum that you really enjoyed, uh, what would that be? I really enjoyed machine learning classes. And I'm going to tell you a secret. When I came back home, when I was having dinner with my husband, we watched the machine learning classes all over again. Every day. How oh, well. Wow. So I. I really enjoyed them. They were very dense and very difficult to follow. Uh, but once you understand all the pieces, everything makes sense and you build on top of the concepts. You build on top of each other and at the end you get to understand the big picture and that, that was very rewarding. Um, another question that uh, a lot of our students are interested, if you could uh, tell a little bit more about the projects that you work worked um, and uh, how was it your capstone project how much you know time uh, was devoted for those projects the time we had for the project was three weeks two weeks and a half three weeks and the it was really not enough time but we made it work mm -hmm. and the the learning curve was huge in that time I, I did four projects. One, uh, I developed an R Shiny app based on the, the work that my previous work. I also did a web scraping project. I scraped in the data and I explored the data scientist uh, job market landscape around the world. And I also did a machine learning project trying to predict the prices of houses based on their features and a capstone project. The, for the capstone project, uh, I developed with my team a recommendation system for two based on the Yelp data set. My favorite projects were the team projects for different reasons. The machine learning project because I got to experience and practice a typical machine learning workflow. And with the extra addition, it was a Kaggle data set uh, with, the, with the addition of uh, the me trying to beat my own score for the Kaggle competition. And the, the Capstone project, I really enjoyed it because I, I, I enjoyed working with my team. We had, I was very lucky with my team. Uh, we were very compatible. We worked very hard. We learned from each other. We helped each other. And the final, uh, the result was really rewarding. And also I learned a lot of NLP and recommendation system, which was very useful in, in the future. Mm. which ended up being very mm. useful. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, so uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Um, we're very glad of your success and we hope that you'll be the next data scientist at NYC Data Science Academy.